Hello everyone, I am going to do a very quick review for a pair of diamond back. I'm not sure if they're DB4Ls or DR4Ls. They're flat pedals, uh, cheaper flat pedals. Uh, I bought these to ride in the winter because um, I thought they would be better for winter riding and I was right. I am a veteran, 20 years now. I clipped into my first clipless pedals. In about 1998. Don't laugh, they were Onzas. Yes, they had the elastomers, and yes, they were horrible. But um, <laughs> they tell you all kinds of stories about those. Uh, but that's not why I'm here. I, I just wanted to let you know that I have ridden Clippers pedals exclusively. You can see the wear on this thing. It's ridiculous. I'm going to replace these. But I'm going to be putting these on here on the 1st of April and riding the bike with the Clippers pedals. Too many epic trailheads, I would hope. The only other pedals I've ridden are the older style here in the background. This is a 1990s pedal, which is surprisingly the same as what I got on the Pivot when I bought it. That's just the stock pedals they put on there. Kind of interesting that sometimes the pedals haven't changed much, sometimes they have. But let's get into the meat of it. Um, I liked the flat pedals for winter riding. They seem to be a lot more... Um, a lot better performing in the winter in the snow because you know when you stop and you get your cleats in the snow uh, snow gets in your pedals and this winter has been pr particularly bad where the snow would get in you know here or in the cleat of the pedal you know the pedal face blah 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 having some pretty pretty big issues with that so I decided to try the flat pedals um, had them on my camber and I switched them over to here. And both bikes kind of perform the same. I have it on my pivot right now, obviously. And I just have to say, I really liked the performance. I really liked how they, they felt. Um, I can see myself riding these kind of pedals more. I'm going to carry them with me on, on road trips for a second set of pedals. And um, the only thing that I really didn't like, besides the fact that they don't seem to sprint very freely. It, it's, it's gotten a lot better right now because I've been riding them. Um, actually, pretty frequently now. Because they're on the new bike, and, you know, I'm going to go on the new bike. I'm riding them. Um, I don't feel like... I don't see how people could do enduro-style crazy stuff on flat pedals. I can see them doing it on clipless pedals. But my experience has been that I've always relied on having being strapped in and ha having an extra maneuverability... Um, I feel like I can, uh, the bike will handle better for me in my situation. But that's, like I said, after all these years of riding clipless. Um, so I don't feel like I'm in control as much. I feel like, you know, my foot is on there. But then if I do a, a bump or a jump or something like that, it you know, it's, I still feel like it's going to, because I'm used to that, you know, that I can pull it up a little bit shift my pedal around a lot of people think oh you're gonna come unclipped or oh they're dangerous but you know i was actually doing some pretty crazy stuff on my clipless pedals and staying clipped in or unclipping pretty fast when when danger comes so i know it's kind of a preference thing but um, i just wanted to say from from that standpoint of looking at Hey, I've always ridden clipless pedals. Now I'm using these flat pedals for the first time. Hey, I can learn how to do these. Hey, I can do stuff on them. And I honestly think I could do just about anything I can do on the clipless pedals on these. It's just a matter of learning the technique. It's a matter of getting used to it even more so than uh, I am now. So I'm going to continue to ride them. But I wanted to give uh, these pedals probably, I'd say, pretty close to four stars out of five. They seem... They seem to perform for them. I, I have never ridden any other flat pedals, so I don't know what to compare, how to compare them to, but they seem to perform pretty well. It's just the uh, the differences is I don't I don't feel as much of a control as I do when I'm riding the um, flipless pedals. So that's my quick review, and hope you enjoyed it. You know, you can probably still find these for under forty bucks, I would guess, at different places. 
and uh, go try a pair out. Uh, I think you'll I think you'll like some.